2018, cruising the streets. I had to get out of the house. Staring at the computer too long. The Lunkers gave me a buzz. He said he's heading up to his land. Where his land is, is really not too far from where I grew up and where we're living right now. So, thought I'd go meet him. See what's going on. If y'all missed the last video with me and Lunkers TV, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it. I thought it was really, really, really good. Like it was, we've done a ton of videos together, but it's definitely my favorite one. The way just the pattern turned out, the great story. So I'll leave it uh, in the link for the thing. It's in the description box. You can go check it out. This is like 25 miles away and it's taken me like an hour to get over here. Because of, uh, remind me never to come out here at this time, ever. I'd rather be fishing and not catching anything that's sitting in traffic like this. If you guys are ever trying to go to Lunker's place, it's extremely complicated. Uh, it's very secured. My recommendation is uh, just don't even try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm pulling into someone else's driveway right now. Obviously took a wrong turn. Here, please. We're gonna get there eventually. There's been wildlife reported on, the, on this area. Coons, he's got deer coyotes, pigs, woodland creatures dwelling in the yard. That's always good. I kind of like that. Private property, keep out, posted. Hey, I brought my BB gun. <laughs> Did you bring it? No, I don't even have one. I don't have a license. I don't have a license. I don't know if you got that. No, I don't know which ones are heavier. I know that you can... Or... I mean, it would it would be a uh, would be a meeting with old lunkers here without some sort of air rifle something going on here. It looks like something from like uh, Halo. Yeah, especially where, where is that other thing you had? Oh, did I tell you? The freaking canister. It's inside the truck. Oh, okay. <laughs> looks like you're going scuba diving. It Look at that. Scuba tank. That is a scuba tank for an air rifle. Have you ever seen something like that in your life? Holy cow. Okay, these are not your normal BBs. These are, uh, no. these are uh, exacto pellets. King Diablos. I don't know what these ones these are. These are King Diablo pellet. I know they're not I know they're not the regular size of a pellet. They've got three different ones. Look at this. Can y'all see that? I think these ones are the good ones we're supposed to be using on animals. Focus to fight. There it goes. Look at that. Yeah, that's bigger than my 17 HMR, and this one's got a ballistic tip on it. I'm not even kidding you. This is how serious things get on the BB game right now. And he told me they use these on coyotes. The uh, expandables. Hit it hit it for me, Sony. There it is. Hollow points. Yeah, they got a 45 that he's also going to be sending me. 45 caliber, an actual 45. So imagine a 45 slug that, I mean, it's like this big. Like, and it's used for hogs. So people take down hogs with these kind of BB guns. It's an air rifle, is what I'm told. Okay, I, I, I am I'm really upsetting some people right now calling this. It's a BB not a gun. BB gun. Well, a BB gun is what we used when we were kids. Compressed air. We 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 used yeah. to have to the pump. You know, what's the what's the most you ever pumped one? Like, did you ever test the limits? You go, I'm gonna pump it a hundred times. <laughs> no. And it's always the same as like ten pumps. It's never really, it never really just jacks it no. up and not a, a bunch. This is a whole different level, though. This is incredible. I think, I think we should shoot it. You never just want to look at a gun. That's fire. Look, you, well, I'm not gonna fire without a round in there. It was crazy. So they made it to where every single time it comes back, it goes on safety. So you have to literally physically do that. It's, it's always a, on safety. It's an easy safety. Yeah. So this is a, this is an easy peasy lemon squeezy. Round goes in there, shove it in, pull it back. Done, and it's on safe. And then you just look down the thing, you just give her up. That was it. And I wonder, do you know like how fast it's actually going? He said you can. We we could. If you hit a hog in the right spot in the ear hole, you're gonna take it down. Everything up to a coyote is what they recommend with this size. <laughs> Dang. That seems a little on the. That's crazy. I don't know. They got baffling in here, so they're inter integrally suppressed. Okay. So it's actually suppressed, I guess. Well, if you didn't know that that was out there, it is out there. And I did, I have killed a, a very large hog with a 17 HMR, shot him really? right, right in the ear hole. Oh. And that's even bigger. So if it's going fast enough, put it in the right hole. So just pull her on back. Yeah. Just, oh. No, no, you're good. 
No, you're good. Right? Yeah, you're good. You put it right in there. Yeah, just shove it on in right in the hole. Shove just it right in that shove hole it. There. Okay, she shoved in. Okay. Lock. Close that off. Yep. That's the chamber. She's nice and chambered. And push, push that, that thing that forward. For safety. And just send her on. Yep. Send it. I mean, how's my form? It looks pretty formish. Woo! It's so wild out here, man. To think I could be standing in your in your living room right now. I think you are. No, this, this actually might be my, my office. You should just get this like epoxied and make it the floor. Pretty just cool, all right? natural. Whoa! There's a ricochet sound. I felt like I was in a western movie right there. <laughs> we got some corn here. <laughs> my bad. I think I hit record at the exact same time. My bad. So that was, I thought Good that thing. was wired down. So not my Good thing that was my good side of my face. We're seeing stars. We are, we're throwing in corn into the feeder right I'm so now. Sorry about that. There it is. There's those ups. Oh shit. This is like powdered corn. This is like the easy stuff. Is this supposed to be coming up? <gasps> oh, you know what? They've got in your feeder. Do they? What's going on? Dude, it's just nonstop. Oh, it's chewed. Good. It's chewed up. Shoot up. I'm just Come putting out a gold mine right now. Just listen to the sound. It's like the sands of time. Can we just play Sarah McLaughlin? So these are what are called raccoon traps. I think they were formerly at the Mystery Tackle Box house. Raccoon problem is obviously pretty severe here. Raccoons are just amazing. They're like the monkey of America. What do you got? What do you got for them, Rob? Marshmallows? Marshmallows, yeah. Mellows. They like mellows and try to trap some of them. Time to put the corn in the hole. Oh dang, it's not coming out, shoot. Tastes like corn puffs. It's been checked. Marshmallows are everywhere, corn's everywhere. Me and Rob are gonna be coming back out here, right? That's if you wanna. Have uh, you actually went and seen the pond yet? No. You, I'd love to see it. You want to see it? Long, see, I mean, it's, it's a special thing for a man to have a pond. Right there, you see it right through the... Oh, I see it, but... I oh, know, you want to walk there's, down uh, I don't particularly... Oh, when's that golf cart pass coming in? Have you really never been... you're going through right now? Yeah? You're getting in the danger zone, buddy. Of what? Of rattlesnake territory. It's all right, I got a jet puff bag to defend myself. Look at those thorns right there. Yeah, hopefully it's walked through. Crap. This is a survival situation. I've got a uh, vine in front of me. We're gonna have to cut that. There. That's that's checked. Oh yeah. Look at that. See if I see any swimmers. Oh wow, you can't you can't move at all. No. It's pretty much in here. It's usually gin clear. Yeah. That's awesome. It has a weird uh, scent. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. I've had fun on my date out here in the woods. Flunker TV. What was that? Welcome what to the sun. Yeah, I was about to say He's that. always worried about the sun. You, you don't worry about that sun. We can be silhouettes. We can just be talking silhouettes on the channel. Would you guys watch me take a poo? Would you? See you? drop. I've seen it. It's true. All right, Rob's got to go now. He's got lots of work to do out here. As you can see. Oh, I'll be out here. Uh, Hammer and nail. He's gonna be building a wooden home out here. Right here. He's gonna be like Peter Pan. Been hidden forever. Peter Pan? Yeah. I would've went with like someone more, way more badass. Than Peter, Peter Pan. Pan is live free or die trying. That's his, he's got a tattoo right on his chest. Thug life. <laughs> <laughs> in that. <laughs> Can't believe that BB gun, it's freaking insane. If you guys have ever seen those, let me know in the comments, but that was the first time I'd ever seen one of those. I don't even want to call them BB guns. That's the wrong thing to say, right? They're just high-powered air rifles. I'm gonna call Stephanie and see what she's doing. Maybe take her out to dinner tonight. Be a good hubby. Hey, I can't have their fun, but everything else is pretty much for free if you want to do that. Bye-bye. OSG sneaking in some burger time. I love it. Baby is officially the size of a coconut today. There's a fishing freak inside. His name is Martin. We're gonna... We're gonna do a flyby right now, Barton. See you, Barton. Catch you later, bro. Bye. He's on camera. He's happy. 
He's happy. He, he came in there and he was like, um, hey man, can I get a picture? I was like, yeah, of course. And then uh, Bunker's just right behind me. I was like, you might know him too. He's like, no way. That was a pretty cool moment. Miss B, where's my wife? Why isn't she letting me in? Hey. It took me an hour to drive. Why? 20 miles. Why? Because the back streets, it was, I just don't want to get into it right now. I didn't even show it on camera because I was having a moment. It's okay now. I need a cold adult beverage and a bear. And a... And a bear? And a burger. <laughs> and a Maybe burger. everything. Maybe all three of them things. Yeah, it's one of them times. Getting our stroll on. Yeah, a little stroll on date night. This place is called the Twisted Root. They make very delicious burgers. Yeah, we are feeling it. We are. She's like, I want a burger. We're hungry for some burgers. See, see we can come down here with baby when we have baby. And just let baby you just play, run around. play in the grass over there. I love how baby doesn't have a name or anything. <laughs> yeah, it's y'all probably think it's kind of weird that we're just calling baby baby. There's a reason because we haven't done the reveal and I don't want to say he or she, you know what I'm saying? Don't tell anybody. Okay, so I had to call ahead to see if I could actually have their food and they told me I couldn't have their buns, so guess what I brought? My own bun! You're sneaking buns. Buns for the bun. What do you think, babe? Oh, I'm ready. This is how I'm gonna end this video. It's gonna be delicious, cheesy, beefy thing, and a guy talking on the radio, and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Chowing down into the greatness. Look at me in my tank top. I'm on my way for a run to get the sludge out. I woke up with something in my eye, too. Um, wow. You ever wake up with like an eyelash in your eye and you can't get it out? It's like, it's like, how do you work it to the front? It's kind of what I'm dealing with right now. Well, six miles later. Here we are. Actually, it was like 5.9. I was feeling pretty pumped up. And then I started hearing teeny pop music. It was like a Bieber or something like that. So I'm thinking there's some like mom or something on a bike that's getting some, some trail riding in. And I look back and it's the cross country team and it's three girls that are leading the team, trudging through. And they look at me like, there's nothing you can do we're about to pass you. Just just give it up. Just get off the trail. But I don't concede that easy. So what I decided to do was try to stay ahead of them for the next three quarters of a mile. And that was a very big mistake. I kept hearing that teeny pop music for three quarters of a mile. I couldn't get away from it. Finally, there was this big hill and I trudged up it, but they passed me. Here are the dudes from the cross country team right here, freaking exhausted. That was probably one of the local high schools or whatever, but uh, you made me feel very humbled. So, thank you for that. Okay. Wife is in sanding mode. Oh yeah. Well, we bought this baby bed for like 30 bucks at a consignment shop and it was in really good condition, except look at like all the different bite marks. Can you see all of them? I thought that was from the dog. No, babe, this is what babies do when they teeth. I had no idea. Like you this didn't is a know common thing. Bite? I didn't know they bit beds like wood, like beavers. They will bite anything. What? This you're telling me that with. you're telling me that I need to like hide my wooden objects yes. from babies. Yeah. Because they're gonna be eaten. Once babies go into like teething mode, they will bite anything they get their hands on. That's scary. <laughs> this is not a dog. This is a baby. Babies are savages. <laughs> they are. Anyways, I'm sanding it down. I'm repainting it white gender neutral. I think I'm gonna end it right here. Why not? I'm about to go slam my face with some food. I already got my greasy burger in last night. Oh yeah, we well, probably need, food group. We probably need some eggs. If we had steak and eggs, that'd be perfect. That would be great. Gosh dang, wouldn't it be great if we had steak and eggs right now with a little avocado? I got some deer burger meat. Where's that at? I think that's what are we freezer. doing? You're gonna have to get that out. Shoot! <laughs> I gotta do everything myself around here. Well babe, good luck on the sanding. Thank you. It looks great. More home projects. Not exciting for a fishing channel, but maybe on the family channel. <laughs> People will be tuned in for that. Bring it on! All right, y'all, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna get back to our uh, our daily lives, and we're gonna get back to fishing next week. Got a couple of new places we're going to. That should be pretty good, so y'all stay tuned. 
thanks for watching here on the vlog if you want to stay tuned for more action all you got to do is subscribe to the channel watch out for wasps and hick the ding dongs we'll see you on the next one